Hey, what's going on dudes? My name is Tezza, welcome back. Uh, the return of my LA Angels franchise mode on MLB 13, the show. Today we are against my team, or my favourite team, uh, the Chicago Cubs, and we are at Angel Stadium, so a bit of a tough one for me. Obviously, do I want to uh, do I want to beat the Cubs or do I not? They are 28 and 30, so not doing too bad actually, uh, the Cubs. And the Angels are 40 and 20, doing very well so far. Uh, been on a bit of a hot streak at the moment, got a few players uh, going quite hot as well. So fingers crossed today we will be able to do well, even if it is against the Chicago Cubs. Bottom of the second here, two outs. No one on, Vernon Wells up in the batter's box, going to swing and chop that one foul. Vernon Wells playing consistently well uh, as of the late, <laughs> as of the late, as of late. Oh, one count for him. Edwin Jackson is the man on the hill, swinging a miss on that slider, way outside of the zone, shouldn't be swinging on that, score is still nothing to nothing, so I'm really glad to be getting this series back, uh, a lot of people have been asking for it, and uh, it's a good series, I enjoy it, guessing correctly and drilled deep, left line drive, Vernon Wells going round first, gone ahead to second, the throw from Soriano to second, it's cut off by Castro, and that is a stand-up double for Wells on a good left field line drive there. Sadly though, two outs in the inning, not a lot to work with here, as is usual, I always love these show motions, you get to see the ball in like HD going dead slow, Howie Kendrick now in the box, so a runner in scoring position, Howie Kendrick doing okay as of late, had a bit of a struggling start, guessing correctly on that though, deep right centre field all the way back to the track, off the wall, Wells comes home, Kendrick heads for second, the throw is not accurate enough for Castro to tag Kendrick. So, another double here, back-to-back -back doubles for the Angels, and that brings Vernon Wells home, 1-0 Halos. Good hit there as well from Kendrick. Like I say, he had a struggling start to the season, and now he's getting a little bit, uh, a little bit more into it. So Jackson on the hill for the Cubs, and CJ Wilson on the mound. For the Angels, Brett Jackson there, going to look at that two-seamer inside. So we're in the top of the third now, 1-2 count for Jackson, just a strike out to get him out, just one strike it takes. This one though drilled deep to right centre, same place as Howie Kendrick, but a lot deep, a lot deeper should I say, and that one is gone. Brett Jackson with a home run to tie the game up here, not what I wanted to do. Brett Jackson is on a hot streak, and he's only designated hitting today. He is a centre fielder for the Cubs, but they are playing uh, Tony there, uh, but he plays all over the outfield really. And, um, Yes, so a big home run to tie the game up. Bit disappointing. And um, talking about the Cubs themselves, I read last night that uh, Cubs manager Dale Sveum has been relieved of his duties as Cub manager. And that was a bit of a shocker, but I'm not that shocked. Um, he's not been doing very well, and obviously he can't uh, be in the rebuilding phase forever. We've got to eventually show some signs of improvement. Swing and a miss from Castillo there. Then he's going to get Campana on a 1-2 count. Swing and a miss on that slider. Now Darwin Barney with a 0-2 count. Looking at that two-seamer low. So after giving up a home run, Wilson will go ahead and fan the side. Three strikeouts in a row. Good for him. So yes, like I say, it's uh, fame relieved of his duties. Who will take over? No one's too sure. The, the odds on are Joe Girardi. That's if they can actually get him, but who knows? It'll be interesting to see next season what happens with the Cubs. Trout, get, though, getting that one to right field. That will put Chris Iannetta at second. Trout on first. My phone's going off. I do apologise. So Trout with a good base hit there. Sadly, not able to get any extra bases out of it, but guessing it correctly. If it waited a bit longer, it might have gone a bit further. Who knows? But what's done is done. So, runners on first and second here. One in scoring position and Trout fast enough to get into any position. Bottom of the third, no outs. Eric Ibar up in the box. Jackson going to give up a big base hit. Same place as Howie Kendrick again, that deep right centre. Ionetta goes home. Trout goes home. A stand-up double. Eric Ibar there. Good heads-up base running by Trout. Obviously, he's fast enough anyway, but the throw was a good throw. Two-run double. So Eric Arbar putting the pressure on so much that the pitching coach has to come out and have a word with Jackson. He's given up a lot of doubles here. Bottom of the third. Ibar now at third. 2-2 two -two count for Josh Hamilton. One out in the inning. And that one will get past the first baseman, but Darwin Barney 
able to make a good sliding diving stop throw from his knees to get Hamilton out but Ibar still scores on the play so 4-1 lead top of the fifth now Ibar's going to throw that one away and that goes all the way to the wall Vernon Wells not able to get there in time run around in third going home the throw is not in time Ionetta can't apply the tag a stand up double there Kendrick sorry I believe it was not uh, Ibar that threw it away Kendrick giving up a run there on an error so not what we want to do at all so now the pressure on Wilson Brett Jackson back in the batter's box and he gets it past us once again he was playing so well today Vernon Wells able to get there in time though limit him to a single and no run comes in on that one not good at all uh, from the Angels here at the moment the runners on second and third and then Tony Campana getting in on it Trout able to throw that one home just in time though to keep runners on the corners still no outs in this inning good throw from Trout there to limit the damage Darwin Barney here now two outs in the inning at this point runner on third 3-2 count Darwin Barney looks at a slider Wilson managing to get out the inning barely with the lead still just intact so can the Angels hold on here from the fifth one error on the Angels that big error so after a good I say good but a sol solid out in from Wilson I'm going to go ahead and make a change Mike Sosha comes out takes the ball off him not the worst start we've seen him have um, but not the best either but he did okay we still have the lead for now so he's going to come off and in his place will come Kevin Jepson so yeah like I say we'll see what happens with the Cubs next season we'll also see what happens with the Angels they haven't had their best season did a lot better last year but obviously doing very well in this franchise mode they, maybe they should employ me as manager maybe that would work so top of the seventh here runner on first two outs two two count for Campana he's going to get that one straight to Ibar Kendrick sorry keep getting it wrong and that will be the end of the inning so bottom of the seventh now one two count for Mike Trout still only the one run deficit in it chopping that one to third Ian Stewart got all the time in the world but he messes up the throw Trout able to get to first Ian Stewart I've said for a long time was never a very good third baseman especially for the Cubs don't know why they're playing him here I assume that Valbuena is injured and that what should have been an easy out Ian Stewart manages to make a poor throw bounces off the floor and to be fair Rizzo really not innocent either probably could have controlled it a little bit better but Trout gets the first so Eric Arbar back up at the plate now so yeah an error on uh, on Ian Stewart there E5 making sure that they check Trout at first obviously he's got a lot of speed to go and I'd like to get him in scoring position with one out not a great variety of pitches for the pitcher here I believe it's Sean Camp so Trout's going to go ahead and steal that ball is inside and Trout able to get to second sliding head first no problem Castro not able to apply the tag there now a runner in scoring for Ibar with only one out in the inning and the one ball went inside it was a change of inside for ball one so a 1-0 count for Ibar and this one going for a line drive just gets past Rizzo not able to handle it and Ibar is safe Trout gets the third Ibar barely safe there speed only just keeping him in it and not great communication between the pitcher and first baseman so Albert Poole holds 0-2 count one out he's going to bunt Trout's going to go home and Ibar's going to get to second Pujols on the sacrifice RBI bunt there not doing too well for him at the moment but um, good enough to get that RBI in and then later in the inning Josh Hamilton comes in Ibar is at second and they're going to intentionally walk him so a big power hitter they know at this point in the game can go ahead and make things worse for them so Hamilton gets the first on a, on a base on balls free walk and up comes Mark Trumbo he's 0 for 3 on the day so that's probably why they selected him two outs here runners on first and second the score is now 5-3 what can Trumbo do nothing there with that slider inside just going to look at that one for ball one so replacing one power hitter for another is it risky but Trumbo on a bit of a slump so who knows what could happen 1-0 count that one inside nearly the same place for ball two so the pressure on now for Trumbo maybe with the speed of Ibar a bunt uh, sorry uh, just a decent base hit would bring him home Swing and a miss on that sinker, just low, stayed in the zone as well. So a 2 1 count for Mark Trumbo. Here's the pitch, 
crushed to deep centre, going back his Campana, all the way to the wall, this one is gone, Trumbom, big fly for Mark Trumbo, not seen one in a while, and there we go, a three run home run, for the Trumbom man himself, Mark Trumbo getting it done, and that's what you get for, uh, for walking Josh Hamilton, you know, you get rid of one power hitter for another, disrespected, that's right, you think Trumbo wasn't good enough, well he just proved you wrong, don't walk Hamilton in the future, Trumbo comes up big for the Halos here, and absolutely crushed that one as well, like Campana was all the way back to the track and the wall, 407 feet, the deepest part of the field, straight away centre, big fly for Mark Trumbo. So, uh, I have also got a small announcement to make, guys. I will soon be starting a Diamond Dynasty. I know a lot of people have asked for it uh, in the past. And, uh, I think you guys will hopefully enjoy it. We'll see what happens. I'm not really too sure what to do yet. Uh, I'm going to have a look at it, and then hopefully I'll be posting uh, some Diamond Dynasty videos very soon. I also kind of want you guys to leave name suggestions for, um, for the team. I'm thinking something like the dudes, but uh, we'll, we'll see. So Ryan Madsen comes in now, the closer, pitching against Anthony Rizzo. 1-1 one, one is the count. The score is 8-3. Angels absolutely dominating here. But the club's not out of it. You know, they've had some good base hits, some good big hits. And uh, they've managed to get three runs. So that change-up stays in the zone. 1-2 count for Rizzo. Madsen looking to get the inning off to a good start. Well, that four-seam is going to go left field, line drive, opposite field, hitting for Rizzo. Vernon Wells going to get there. He's going to throw to second. Is it in time? Rizzo just gets there in time. Kendrick not able to apply the tag. Rizzo there with a double. So, two for three. Brett Jackson steps in with two outs. He is the last chance for the Cubs, and he comes through. Runner gets home. Vernon Wells able to pick this one up. He's going to head for second. The throw is not in time. Brett Jackson with another double doing it against us today. He has been the absolute bane of this game for us. A really, really annoying. So an 0-0 count for Castillo. That one's going to go foul just on the right field line drive. Two outs. Can Madsen end it here? Going to go for a change up. That one's going to go wide and inside though. Bit of a wild pitch there. Brett Jackson in scoring position though. Could the comeback be on for the Cubs? Swing and a miss on that change up down the middle. 1 2 count for Castillo. Could the two seamer do it? He's going to pop that one foul. Castillo with a big bat. He has an opportunity to do a lot of damage here. Can't give him uh, too much to swing on. Cutter to the outside. This one's going to pop up. Josh Hamilton goes back. He's underneath it. This is the game. Angels win. The Halos take it 8 to 4, I believe it was, or 8 to 3. I <laughs> missed the score. Wilson, obviously very happy there. Why not? A big win for the Angels. And a big day for Mark Trumbo. Coming up clutch there. It's glad to see he's back on form. So she's going to be very happy. The whole of us are happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, folks. And if you did, please leave a like. If you didn't, don't worry about it. Subscribe if you, if you wouldn't mind. I really want to get to 600 subscribers. That would be totally awesome. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys look forward to seeing my new Diamond Dynasty. I'll try and post some more Angels franchise as soon as I can. I'll also be obviously still posting the Ron Santo. I'm looking forward to this Diamond Dynasty. Who knows? And I'll get my uh, London vlog up soon, my Eurogamer vlog. Get that up as soon as I can. So yes, I believe Wilson is going to go ahead and get player of the game more than deserved he had a he had a good start today uh, nine strikeouts for him so that is the game this is your final score thanks for watching folks i love you all dudes i'll see you in my next video whenever that may be but yes i'll see you in my next video goodbye